hello ladies hello gents i'm taking you guys on a journey with me it is a natural hair journey it's been a couple years since i've been natural and i've decided to go back to the creamy crack yeah so i'm relaxing my hair um, I haven't decided which relaxer I'm going to use, but I'm going to take you guys with me on that journey. So, wish me luck! So I went to the mall just to see if I could get the relaxer. I spent about 2005 on it and everything else that I needed to do the relaxing process. Um, and then I ended up deciding on the cream of nature brand because it usually works with my hair So this is just me gonna be showing you guys the whole process of the relaxer or relaxing So of course, I just wanted to read the instructions because it's been a while since I actually did a relaxer um, About three years to be exact So this is the jar that came in the box and this is the activator essentially what i did was just mix both of them together like the instruction said then i sectioned my hair into four just so it would be easier to actually get to the parts that i need to get to section by section so i sectioned it in four then I applied the relaxer from root to ends um, and I thought to do that because my ends are colored so I didn't think it would take much time for that to process, that part of my hair to process um, and the roots were more virgin because it was um, a lot of new growth as you can see the black part of my hair is all new growth so I pretty much applied the relaxer to the sections um and i started with the back and then i moved to the front sections of the hair in applying it i just smoothed it on to the hair um and then i tried to stretch it just to make it you know more straight and i thought it would process it easier um and then i just did the rest off camera because i wanted to move a little bit quicker but then all hell broke loose and my hair got fried um it was crazy guys and then i ended up having to cut off all the fried ends <sighs> so no i am just showing you guys what my hair actually looks like now this is relaxed the parts that were relaxed the rest of it that was fried i cut off um and I, i'll be honest i kind of freaked out at first still freaking out um up to now but i just decided you know what let me turn this into a wig tutorial and not cry about it so this is the wig cap that i'm gonna use gonna let you guys see you know how i attempt to fix this problem this was the wig glue and i'll jump in where i need to explain um what's happening in the tutorial but let me talk a bit about you know my hair frying off um so after i was done applying the relaxer i waited a few minutes based on what the box said and then um i was going to smooth some of my hair and i realized in doing that some of my hair was falling out in my hands and it was falling out in clumps so of course i started to freak out and i thought immediately you know let me just go and wash it out and use a deep conditioner to stop the process i wanted to i i decided you know i'm gonna use a neutralizing shampoo and some deep conditioner thinking that would help anyways when i was doing that in washing out the hair so when i went to wash out the hair you know it started falling out even more in clumps and i was freaking out the entire time um after i it, um, managed to wash it completely out get out all the suds um i just grabbed the scissors and i started to cut no lie that's a lie after i washed it out i started to blow dry but then i said you know what using heat probably going to make it even worse then i air dried it and 
you see when i touched when i touched my hair it felt like burnt chicken burnt i don't know it just felt so stiff and um it literally looked fried literally looked like it was dipped in a deep fryer um as you guys can see from the picture i shared earlier so that's when i just said you know what let me just cut it off because i tried to detangle it in that state and it was a whole mess so i got up went in front of the mirror got the scissors and as you see me cutting this wig cap right now that's how i just chop 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 chopped the colored part of my hair off um i tried to save as much as i could of the damp the parts that were not damaged because i thought that you know i don't want to go completely bald and if i do get a proper cut i can just make sure that the stylist has something something to work with and i take great comfort in knowing i mean if you know me um or if you've been watching my channel for a while then you know it it wouldn't be the first time i've had to cut my hair um or decided to cut my hair on my own this is probably the third fourth or fifth time since cutting my hair or probably more um and started over fresh but this time i'm not going on a natural hair journey i don't think i'm going back natural for a while um what i'm gonna do is get a proper cut um from a good stylist i've already made the appointment and i'm gonna get myself a nice um pixie type of cut but in the meantime i'll be wearing this wig because i can't be out here in these streets looking all crazy um so yeah that's pretty much what it is guys and i also take comfort in knowing that you know this it's just here it's just here it will grow back i have good genes and a good hair regimen formula product um my own brand of products that i'm like a hundred percent confident that my hair will grow back in no time so you know just wanted to share this with you guys because in case you see me without my hair this is what happened anyways um so let's talk about what's really happening in the video now um i pretty much already installed the wig cap and now i'm just going to lay the wig frontal um to my forehead and um yeah we're getting to we're getting down to the wire um so yeah i pretty much lined it up i don't think i'll be doing edges because i hate how it feels on my forehead but i will try to style it um in a natural way something that looks a little realistic um and i did end up doing that off camera for the most part um but yeah guys this is just my little horror story of what happened when i decided to relax my natural hair on my own moral of the story let the professional do it let the professionals do it um but yeah guys this is how it turned out i'm i'm okay with this i'm okay with the results i think i can work with this until i actually get my hair done but let me know what you think in the comments down below of the story of everything of this wig install don't forget to like share comment and subscribe bye